This video has been in the works for a very long time and I am crazy excited to share it with you. So in this video, we're talking about a single audio kit that fits in one bag, is 100% completely wireless and USB rechargeable. So wearing headphones, using a boom and a lav setup is completely wireless, wire free, and it powers and lasts all day. And it all fits in this adorable little bag. So this idea came to me after years and years of doing corporate video work, documentary, interviews, and of course here doing YouTube videos. Audio gear has always been kind of that, Ugh, oh, that's right, we gotta set up audio. And it's always kind of a last minute thought. It's always a pain to set up. There's cables everywhere and it just becomes a headache if you're more of a video shooter and you're trying to do this all on your own. So I wanted to come up with a very easy to use, very flexible and wireless system that would be more enjoyable to use and a lot easier to set up. Now, before we jump into the parts and how I set this up, do keep in mind that I have a exhaustive blog post with all the different parts, specific cables, just everything I used to create this audio bag. You can find that in the description. And I also did a very long unlisted video showing you how to set this up from start to finish. So if you wanna learn about every little thing I did and every tweak I did to this whole setup, check that video out. And this one's gonna be more of an overview and kind of the ideas behind it. Also keep in mind that this is not the cheapest option out there and you could definitely use more affordable gear in your audio bag. So this entire setup right here has been built up to over time and it cost me about 2,300 bucks but you could easily get that down to well under a thousand. And last but not least, this is a dual system setup. I've been using this style of audio recording forever when it comes to video. I just find it's easier. Instead of fiddling with the camera, just record it into a recorder. Our software these days just links it up automatically. It's a safer, easier way to go and someone can be dedicated working with audio instead of everyone crowded around the camera. So with all that out of the way, let's get into the parts used and how I set this bag up, starting with the actual bag. This is the Orca 28 and it is a phenomenal audio bag. It's specifically designed for audio. So if you're coming from the mixing world, you'll be very familiar with this style of bag. There's loops on the side for using straps. You have rain covers that come with it. And what I love about it is it has a center frame made of aluminum. So it's insanely rigid and pretty much the entire bag can be broken into so that you can route cables and do all kinds of wild stuff. And that was very important for this build because underneath these audio devices, there is a ton of cabling and it's all done, set up, ready to go. I can just grab this bag, pick the whole thing up, uh, hit the road and it has absolutely everything I need right here. Not joking, I don't need anything else. This is it for audio. Now let's get to the wireless system that is really at the heart of this entire kit. And I am using the Deity Connect system. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the receiver here. And there are two transmitters, which we'll get to here in a second. This system has been really phenomenal. It is pretty much, I would say, the most flexible and most advanced prosumer or professional option available right now. So obviously there's some really expensive stuff out there when it comes to wireless audio, but this whole kit is around 600 bucks and gives you so much flexibility. So shout out to Deity for sending this kit in for review. And we're gonna get to kind of the pros and cons a little bit later, but in short, two transmitters, a single receiver, I can control the transmitters from this receiver. It's really designed for audio bags, which I love. And that is so rare in this price range. So you can see it's a top down setup, very easy to see from above and it just works great. You can also throw it on the top of your camera. It comes with everything you need and it has a built-in battery and can be charged over USB. And we're gonna get to some exciting power stuff at the end of this video. So we're rocking the Deity Connect, the transmitters we're gonna get to in a second, but there are two I'm using one with a shotgun setup, which I'm really excited to talk about. And the other I have tucked in this little pocket over here and it is ready to rock and roll as a lav. So I can use this as a kind of belt pack transmitter. And this is usually what I would do when I was doing corporate work all the time. You have a body pack on your subject and then you also have a boom uh, shotgun microphone of some kind. And these things, you don't really change the frequency because it's a 2.4 gigahertz system. It's automatically riding multiple frequencies so so that it can stay connected and the range is pretty great. Yes, you're probably gonna struggle if you go into really, you know, crazy signal situations, 
but for the most part, this system has been flawless for me. My main gripe with it is that it's a little bit noisy in that it has some self noise. So if you have a very, very quiet lav mic that you love, this might not be the best system, but the microphones that come with it sound great. They're nice and loud. There's a feature in these transmitters where you can boost the higher frequencies. So if you're using the microphone underneath clothing, like I try to most of the time, you can boost that and get better sound. So it's a great system. Here's the one transmitter ready to rock and roll. I actually have it charging in the bag. We'll talk about that. I'm gonna set that down over here and we're going to move on to the shotgun microphone, which I am so excited to have a wireless boom setup. So let's dive into it. Here, attached to the bag via these handy straps that actually come with the bag and it's built in, uh, we have our boom pole. So this one isn't the cheapest, but it's also not the most expensive. It is aluminum and it's very compact as you can see here. Let me for a second move our bag out of the way. And you can see there are several stages here that it can be opened up. And at the bottom here, we have our transmitter. I've got it Velcro to the actual boom with this amazing Velcro pack that I found on Amazon. And what we're doing here is gonna be adding a shotgun mic to this end and it's gonna run all the way through the pole. This has an integrated cable and spit out at the other end right here and be fed into our transmitter, which will send it over to the bag. So let me grab our microphone, which I have also in the bag. It fits very conveniently into this front little pocket here. So I'm gonna open up the second pocket and we are gonna talk about our shotgun microphone, which is the Deity D3 Pro. Now. This necessarily isn't uh, on the same level as some of this other equipment. It's more of an affordable microphone, but I think if you're only going to own a single microphone and travel with a single microphone, which I don't necessarily recommend, but you get the point, this is a great one to go with. It can be used with a camera, can be used on a setup like this. It has a ton of flexibility. So we're gonna move our bag out of the way once again and I'm going to connect it to our boom pole with this awesome quick release system that I found on Amazon for around 12 bucks. So essentially you can have multiple microphones easily disconnect and connect them. So I'm gonna simply pop that on. And now we have our microphone. I'm gonna go ahead and open up and loosen up this Rycote pistol grip. And then I'm going to connect my XLR to it just like that. And now ladies and gentlemen, we have a perfectly balanced boom mic with a wireless transmitter. So I'll go ahead and fire that up. And now we're ready to go. This is it. It's completely wireless. This is incredible. So what about the rest of the bag and how does this interact with it? And what are we doing for monitoring? For that, I'm going to set my boom microphone down here and talk about the Mix Pre 3, which I have mounted inside of this bag. And again, we have a top down recorder. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up here and we're gonna get our levels from the microphone into this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up our D3 Pro, which also has a level control on it. So if you're wireless running around and you have wireless headphones, which we're gonna talk about in a second, you can, without touching your bag, make a couple adjustments, uh, which is phenomenal. So we've got our Mix Pre, I got the microphone on actually both of them. So if I tap here, we can see our two levels, one and two. So we're ready to record in this bag. So I love the Mix Pre 3. I've been talking about it for a while. It's just a phenomenal recorder. It's really, really flexible and the levels are incredible. So now let's say you want to run around with your freedom and your boom pull. You've got your lav, everything's wireless, but you're tied to your bag with headphones. Not anymore, ladies and gentlemen. This setup includes wireless headphone monitoring and I've got some interesting things to tell you here. So originally I was going to use a Bluetooth device for wireless monitoring. And I did a whole video breaking down all these different options, did find a couple that would work okay, but they weren't perfect. Another YouTuber saw that video and had the idea to try to use the Rode Wireless Go as the same system. So essentially using the Go to send the audio from a device to headphones. And guess what? It actually worked really, really well. And that guy's name is Aaron. Aaron, I'll have a link to his channel in that video. You can definitely check it out. So special thanks to Aaron for uh, coming up with this idea and letting me share you know, his video. So what we're going to be doing is using a Rode Wireless Go system for wireless headphone monitoring. I know I'm mixing a ton of brands here, which is a little weird, but we're gonna go for it. So I'm going to remove these headphones here from this awesome strap that holds them on the side of the bag, also sold by Orca. 
and you'll notice here that these are not wireless headphones. These are actually Sony MDR7506s, a legendary pair of headphones that I've slightly modified. Now you don't have to do this yourself, but I have converted the fixed cable to a 3.5 millimeter jack. This means I can use my own cables or add a wireless go to this. Another thing you might notice that is kind of odd is I have a cold shoe mount super glued to the side of my headphones. We're gonna explain that here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and open the side compartment of my bag and pull out the Rode Wireless Go. Our transmitter is hooked up to my Mix Pre 3 as a transmitter for our headphone jack. So I'm going to actually clip the Rode transmitter right to the side of my bag. So that's going to be transmitting the headphone output of my Mix Pre 3. Next, I'm going to take the receiver and I'm going to plug it into these headphones. Again, you can use any pair of headphones that has a physical jack or I suppose even you know a cable built in, but I want this all tidy, all attached to the headphones. Now, because I have this cold shoe on the actual side of the headphones, I can go ahead and mount this guy. So I'm just gonna simply take this Rode Wireless Go receiver and slide it right on to the headphones. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our wireless pair of headphones. You can see, got the tiny transmitter on the side right here. And I can go ahead and throw these on. And I am listening to these microphones. You'll see it's a little kind of funky looking, but hey, it works and it does a phenomenal job. So better than the Bluetooth systems and setups I used before, you might hear just a tiny bit of latency and that is due to the wireless system from Deity. There is 19 milliseconds delay there and that's because it's constantly checking for multiple channels. And if there's an issue, it can actually fix that or solve that before it's transmitted, which is just amazing. So because of that, there is a slight, slight minuscule delay. So. With that, I can put on these headphones, I can pick up this boom microphone, and I'm wire free. This bag can go in the corner and I can run around monitoring my audio, which is just ridiculous and something I've never experienced before. It's really, really awkward to be doing this, but I absolutely love it and I'm super excited to be putting this system to work, which we've already been using it here in the studio. So we've got the wireless boom, we've got the wireless lapel microphone, both being sent into this bag, recorded on this bag and transmitted to a wireless pair of headphones. What about power for all of this? Well, that's another incredible feature about this kit, everything either has a built-in battery or is powered over USB, and almost all of it is USB-C. So, these transmitter packs from Deity, USB-C, built-in battery. The receiver over here in the actual bag, built-in battery and can be charged over USB. Battery life is amazing on these. The Wireless Go, built-in battery, USB-C rechargeable. This guy right here, the Mix Pre 3, does not have a built-in battery, but it has a USB-C input. So I'm actually right here using a giant USB battery that actually lasts weeks and weeks, which I love even with this guy recording and hooked up to it. When it comes to our microphone up here, the shotgun microphone from Deity, built-in battery, USB rechargeable. And if that was not enough, I went ahead and in the bottom of this bag, in the bowels where you can't really see it, I have a USB hub. So if I unzip this particular zipper, and we'll go ahead and just peel open this entire wall of this uh, bag over here, I've got this cable right here, this USB cable. And this cable right here is connected to everything. So if I plug this into a USB battery or the wall, this entire bag will start charging, including the receiver, the transmitters, and I can even over here in this pocket, I have extra USB-Cs waiting to be plugged into stuff. So if I'm out to lunch, I can just take the bag with me. Again, it packs down to this really nice compact setup and charge the entire thing over lunch. So that is my 100% wireless and USB powered and rechargeable audio kit going forward. Keep in mind as we get into our final thoughts here that you can definitely do something more affordable than I did here. Maybe you do an H4N instead of a Mix Pre 3. Uh, maybe you don't want dual system at all. You just want to plug directly in your camera. Well, guess what? You could build this entire boom setup and just plug it directly in your camera with the Deity receiver. Special thanks to Deity for sending out their Connect. I really have been enjoying it overall. I think it's the best system 
in its price class uh, if you want the most flexibility. And it's made by people who really do uh, care about the community and also are, you know, sound engineers and recordists themselves. So everything will be linked to in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.